Hey Christian, what's Hello. up? Hello Baptiste, how are you? Fine, thank you. What are we going to do today? Uh, today we're going to learn how to do snorkeling um, in the water or in the sea. How to use a scuba, how to use the tuba here, how to put a mask and what's the difference in between. So there is a lot of people, they want to snorkel in amazing place when you go vacation in some islands. It's a bit different than swimming because with a mask, the main thing is this will cover your nose. So with a mask on your face, you cannot blow in and out with your nose. So basically, you will be able to just use your mouth at that stage. Uh, very simple, before using the mask, you can split inside or put some soap uh, to make sure there is no fog inside your mask. You clean it with your hands in between, you wash it in the water, and let's try. You put this out. Let's see how it looks like. Okay? So what you want, you want the water to not go inside. So when you go underwater, you can hold your breath and check, or you can exhale and blow bubbles. Let's see if the water goes in my mask. Okay, perfect. So this is my size, doesn't hurt. If it's too tight, it will be uncomfortable. If it's not tight enough, water might go in. So just make sure it's good for you enough. Okay, now let's talk about the tuba. The tuba has different options. You can breathe in and out from the tube here. And of course, when you're in the water, you want that tube to be outside the water. If the water goes inside, the water will fill up the tube until your mouth, then you will drink water. So you want to bite with your mouth, with your teeth, this portion, and put this inside your lips. So breathe in and out. Some tuba, they have just this section like this. They don't have this valve here. This valve here is actually super good because what's happening, if, if water goes inside, the water will get out from the bottom here. If you don't have it, the only way to get the water out is to blow strong to make sure the water get out the tuba. Then it will leave from the top. What you never want to do is to breathe in with water inside this portion. So if the water goes inside here, before anything, blow to make sure the water leaves from the bottom or leave from the top. If you don't have this section, you will leave only from the top. Then you breathe in, you can breathe underwater. So we put my mask. I can watch in the water. I put that tube. And then I will go down and I will try to relax. No need to breathe on the surface, just make sure this stays above the water. You can look at the water, Baptiste. When everything is okay, you just do like this, okay? If someone look at you, you can do this. For all divers, it means all good, okay? If you do this, it doesn't make anything. So we will understand most probably, but this is not a diving sign, so all good. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna link these things to your mask because you cannot swim holding your tube like this all the time. So you will put this section here on the side of your mask. Once this is linked, your tube is linked to your mask. So no matter, no matter what's happened, it's all good. Then you will put on your face your tube, your mask. Make sure it's all perfect fitting. You turn this to be in your mouth. So you make sure that the size is good enough to fit your mouth. And then you enjoy the experience. You can start to swim normal in the water.
Okay, so now, when I finish my observation, I try to relax. Tuba snorkeling is usually to enjoy the viewing. So it's not competition, it's not going fast. Try to save your energy. Breathe calm and slowly, deep in, deep out, deep in, deep out. And usually in the water, what you're gonna do is, you can use your hands to change directions, go anywhere you want, but when you are just cruising to enjoy the sceneries, to enjoy the coral, you just kick with your legs, okay? So if you don't have fins on your feet, if you don't have fins or flippers, you just do your freestyle kicking. And your hands can be relaxed along your body. Let's try to go for five meters, just enjoying the cruising. down to the bottom so you can have another angle so look when you enjoy the swimming usually most of the time your face will be looking the bottom of the of the sea so you can enjoy to see more stuff and then your tuba if you see when your head look down your tube must be pointing up if you look up more like this your your tube will be more this way the more you go down the more it move this way as long as it's outside the water it's perfect Mistake, don't do this, it's too deep, then the water will fill up inside. So now, one skill. You know how to cruise, you breathe in and out, you stay on the surface of the water, you enjoy to go everywhere you want, excellent. Now let's see, there is something in the water you wanna see. You wanna catch something, there is, a, there is something you wanna see closer, okay? So you will dive underwater. What's happening when you dive underwater? Your face go down, you take a big breath, your tube go down, so all your tube will be full of water, okay? So at that time, underwater, you, you hold your breath, try to relax the time you do your cruising underwater, and then when you get out of the water, the skill is to blow strong with your mouth once your tube is out, for the water to exit from the bottom or from the top, and then breathe in for, you, for yourself to take some air. If you breathe in straight, you're just gonna drink water, basically, which is not fun. So let's try this skill. I do my cruising, I snorkel. After five meters, I wanna touch the bottom, I wanna go down, do something. Oh, I lost something here. Right. There you go. what I did? I do by cruising. I snorkel on the surface. I see something, so I go down. So put your head on the bottom, put your legs on the top, move to go down deep, start to enjoy the cruising deeper. I'm full of water inside. Then when I'm ready, I go up slowly. I control, everything goes slowly, okay? No fast movement, always relax. And then you <laughs> Exhale one time deep and strong so this goes out, then I can breathe and continue. I will try to do it one, two, three, four times.
So as you can see, I don't need to take out my mask or take out my tube. I just keep going. What I just need to do is hold my breath when I go deep, go slowly up. When I'm out, when my tube is out of water, exhale one time very strong to make sure the water is gone and then breathe in to keep breathing, okay? Um, there is something you need to do if you want to go deep more than one or two meters is to equalize on your on your ears the water pressure the more you go deep in the water the more the water will press your body including your ears and that can become uncomfortable so what you do to equalize the more you go deep you can <coughs> with your fingers block your nose and slowly blow inside your nose to make sure the pressure with the hair will equalize the pressure from the water outside. And then you will feel it's just up equalizing. And when you go up, there is nothing much to do. Just relax, eventually swallow some saliva, <clears throat> and then you will equalize back again, okay? So you will see me doing these things. Let's go where it's deeper for you to see better. So I will swim, snorkel simply until the end, going deep where it's deeper, Equalize, enjoy the swimming down, going back slowly up and exhale. Take your time, no pressure, and when you go down, you equalize with your fingers blowing in your nose. So that's the first skill about going deep. Now let's try in another video next time. We'll try to learn how to use the flippers to learn how to kick correctly with your feet because usually when you do snorkeling, you have a mask, you have the tuba, but you also have on your feet the flippers to help you to go faster and to enjoy. So we'll do another video next time and this time we'll try to enjoy more how to paddle and how to use your legs for a faster speed. Thank you, Baptiste. You're welcome. See, See you next you, time. See you again next time. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to download the Swim to Fly app on your mobile phone. Cheers, guys. Bye.